steaming up the Thames, a one-boat protest against the proposed deal which would allow European fishermen to keep fishing in British waters during the post-Brexit transition. They were armed with some dead haddock and would have been reinforced by Jacob Rees-Mogg, but he was sent to the wrong pier and had to make his point from the riverside. This is one of, to my mind, the um, biggest flaws in the transition deal. And nothing is agreed until everything is agreed. And I think it would be better for the government to get back control of fishing earlier rather than later. Although he missed the boat today, Rees Mogg is one of 13 Conservatives who, along with the DUP MP, have written to the Prime Minister saying the current fisheries deal is unacceptable and would be rejected by Parliament. This started off looking like it was a shot across the Prime Minister's bars, or at least some dead fish. But with Tory MPs now apparently threatening to vote against the EU withdrawal bill, it could be getting more serious. So inside Parliament, Theresa May reminded potential rebels the government was still committed to taking back control, eventually. We'll take back control of our waters. We will ensure that we don't see, uh, that we don't see British fishermen unfairly denied access to other waters. And we want to rebuild our fishing industry. Out on the river, someone else took control. Nigel Farage had appeared and was using the deceased fish to protest at the waste caused by the fisheries policy. The whole thing is a disaster. As his party has no MPs in Parliament, I asked what he thought the Tories should do. Should Conservatives vote against the transition if the common fisheries policy is included? Well, they've got to make... I mean, listen, they've got to make themselves heard. And by the way, we didn't vote for a transition period anyway. To reinforce the point, more unfortunate fish followed, with the perhaps implied threat that unless Britain took back control of fisheries sooner, the Brexit deal itself might be sleeping with the fishes. Carl Dinan, ITV News, on the River Thames.